right, this is the first impressions uh, of my new boots, the CD uh, X3s. Um, I, think, I think they used to be called the X3 Extreme. Uh, there's a couple of different names for them. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to just go over the features of the boot. Um, but before I do that, um, I just want to kind of give you a, uh, an example of what I've used in the past. I'm not an experienced off-roader. I haven't used a lot of boots. But I, I have used these. These are the Acerbis ones. Uh, they cost about $180. Um, they're a fairly low-end boot. And then uh, I really like CD. Uh, these are my CD boots. Uh, they're my street bike, uh, sport bike boots that I've had for like seven years. Um, and I've been really happy with these, uh, but they have kind of reached the limit of their usefulness. So it's a, it's a, it's a mid-level boot. Um, it, it, it comes across uh, on the level of like the Alpine Stars Tech 7 kind of thing. Um, they have a boot that is above this, the Crossfire. Um, but I don't need Crossfire protection. Uh, I'm just looking for something a little bit more basic. The latches here, they're really easy to operate. I'm really impressed with them. Just lock them down like that. The armor, um, you can see armor shin protection is nice and beefy. Um, then you have calf protection here um, that's also nice and beefy. Now, one of the main reasons I picked uh, this boot um, is for this right here. Your, your um, hinge on the inside. And it's far more common um, to have uh, a hinge on the outside and then have uh, just a piece of material here, um, such as this. Uh, when you look at the competition, this is really common. Um, but I figured that, see, when you twist this, it has to, it has to flex like that. Um, and so either this is going to be thin and more compromised, or um, it's going to be really difficult to flex your foot. Um, and I wanted to, to have good flex in it. Um, so you have your heat shield on the inside. Um, we have four buckles. And the and it's got a, a, a steel shank in, in the sole. So you can see you can't really twist the, the, the sole at all, you know, as opposed to this. Okay, so we're, we have a lot more protection. I don't even know if this one has a... Yeah, this one has a steel shank as well. The, the sole underneath, it, uh, it has uh, a... I, I don't even quite know what you call it. It's a, it's a sort of a ribbed surface, so that if you're going this way, um, it slides really nicely. So when you go put your foot out, going around the corner, it slides nicely. Um, but this way, it catches really nice. So if you're trying to walk up a steep hill, then you, you're going to have some traction there. And the heel is pretty much the same way. Um, but you can learn all of these features online. There's lots of videos about that. One, one of the things uh, when I was wearing this that I did not like was it was difficult for me to get my foot underneath the shifter. Um, and I'll make some videos of that, but it, it seems like that the, the footbed on the CD um, is much shorter um, than the footbed on this. Uh, and so just sitting on my bike, I haven't gone for a ride yet, uh, but just sitting on my bike, taking a look, it's much easier to get my foot underneath the shifter um, and, to, and to do those up, up shifts. So you can see here how the difference between the width of the CD versus the width of the Acerbis. And this is more of a typical uh, off-road boot that I've seen. Huge difference in the width. The buckles on this broke off like right after I bought it. I bought it used, and but when they were really locked down, it was difficult to flex uh, my my foot at all. Um, and you know, it's stiff. It's a new boot, um, but I have confidence that with time, it's going to uh, get better and better. Uh, the color I chose orange. I thought it was going to be kind of a KTM orange color. Um, it's more like fluorescent orange when you see it uh, in real life. And, but with time, it'll dull down. There'll be mud all over it all the time. So it's fine. Um, color doesn't really 
um, stress me that much. But I'm excited to break these in. Um, they offer a lot more protection than, than uh, the boots that I've had, which are these. I mean, you can, you can see there's just absolutely no uh, comparison between these two boots. Because I'm riding off road, I feel like I need a, a little bit more.